I am Bill Kazmaier, and you are watching RxMuscle.com. And listen to the crash. Travis Ortmeier. Two hands, and he gets it. Oh, he's out of his shoulder right now. He was not in control of that. Magnus is not a legitimate lift yet. Travis gets it to his shoulder quickly. Gets it balanced. That is a lot of weight. Come on, Travis, you've got time. you got plenty of time. you got a minute left. He can go either side. He can do right arm, he can do left arm, he can do whatever he needs to do in order to get that thing balanced and centered over his head. But he's got so much power and he's so explosive. The thing's a toy for the shoulder, but right at arm's length, if it's got the wrong trajectory, it's moving in a position where he just can't hold it. Come on, Travis. Apply that power. Getting it to his shoulder is easy. Here we go. Help him. Come on, Travis. Whoa. Man, oh, man. He's got 20 seconds left. Come on, Travis. The amazing thing about these athletes, there's no quit in them. As long as they've got time, they're going to beat their head on the implement Nine, and make it happen. Eight, seven, six. 90 seconds has begun. He's over the weight, he's got it to his left shoulder. Getting his balance. Oh, yes he did! He's 23? Yes, and that is a thing of beauty. Iceland's strongest man showing us what he's made of. Yes, he did. Oh my gosh. What did you recovery. see the way he got that under control? What a recovery. That was amazing. Now the question is, is he going to go to the other arm? What does he feel comfortable with? And he did. He went to the right arm. He's got it where it needs it. He's trying to balance it, get underneath it, and explode. Well, definitely his left arm is stronger. He's got 30 seconds. And you ask yourself just how much energy he expended in both attempts with those Apollon's axles. Here we go. Help him. That's got to be the scariest thing when that thing starts to drop. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Here we go. Come on. No. Here we go. From England, he's got it to his shoulder. You can do it. You can do this, you can do this. Yes, you can. Right shoulder again. Feeling the balance. There it is, there it is. Magnus says no. An amazing repetition to me. That athlete convinced himself he could pick up that dumbbell and put it to arm's length on a second attack. And he did that almost perfectly. You can do this. You can do this. Help him. You can do this. Now, should he go to the left arm? Do you think that he's got 40 seconds? He it's wants to get a rep. He wants to move ahead of Travis. He wants to get a rep. Many in the audience have to ask yourself, are you ambidextrous? Can you use both arms in many things that you do? It's so difficult. I can't even brush my teeth with my left hand. I'm trying electric. Oh. 20 seconds, here we go. Back to the right shoulder. This is it. Help him. Not quite. How about a big round of applause? For Brian Shaw. Swings it up. Gets it in place. Oh my. Hello, what's going on? That's one. What's going on is preparation. Two. Flawless straight up over his center. That was flawless. That's two. Come on, Brian. I believe he's training with a bigger weight than this.
at three. We got something going on here. He's got plenty of time. He's got 47 seconds. Three repetitions so far for Brian Shaw. That's four. Piece of cake for a man who's done 286 pounds unofficially in a weight like this. Come on, you can do this, Brian. Come on, Brian. You got time. Where the clock's up. Five, four. Come on, Brian. Brian Shaw. 90 second clock has begun. This is Terry Hollins from England. He's got it up to his shoulder. He's fine in the center, he's fine in the balance. Yes, he did, that's one. And a very nice rep at that. He really got that under control. It looked like it was starting to drift, but he powered it in. Once again, this is Terry Hollins. That does amazing things to the mental aspect and the approach of the athlete. To know that you can recover like that and handle the rep, He's got two, three, it's just a matter of how much time. He's going for number two. Not that time. He's got one repetition so far. You can see that he's taking big deep breaths. He's trying to recover. He still has 37 seconds left. Terry Ellis, come on now, you got time. We're almost at 20 seconds, and there it is, 20 seconds left. You got one more, Indian, you can do this. Come on, Terry. He's got it in place. Not that time. One rep, Terry Holland. There we go, 90 seconds, and it's begun. Woo! right to the shoulder, not messing around. Boom! Uh-oh. Whoa, oh, excuse me. Two. Uh-oh. Can you say hip drive? You can see it all over his face. This is wheelhouse. You come into Mike's house. Look at Here the go. and tricep kick in. My lord, he is so strong. He's done four so far, and five is there. All right, now he is tied. He's tied, but he has 45 seconds. He's sending a message. Holy moly! That's six. Incredible at the top of the lift when he simply settles in and balances that implement. Now he's on the left-hand side. Well, there you go. That's seven. You can call him incredible, Mike Jenkins. Oh, not that one, but he's got time. No, he doesn't. How about him for Mike Jenkins? There's one. Technique is definitely his strong point, besides being so so amazingly strong. But he knows how to lift and keep his balance. Two. And after lifting, he knows how to set the weight down so it's manageable and he can take it back up again. It doesn't bounce away from him. It's something he's learned from many years of Olympic lifting. Three. He's moving really well. Not that time. He's got time though. He's got 40 seconds. Do you think he can do some more? He's currently tied for third place. He can do one more. 
more. I know he can. Come on, Misha. He can do one more. <laughs> this is his event. One. I only say that because he's the one that did the 13 reps with the lighter weight. Has to regroup. He's got one. Derek Poundstone has won this event twice. That's two. That took a lot of strength. Now he's got to move it. If ever there was an expert with a huge dumbbell, it's Derek Poundstone. On the left hand. Three. 42 seconds. Off comes the belt. Rolling it back to the center of the stage. Derek Poundstone. 33, 32. He's got four. You've got time, Derek. Come on now. Ten seconds. How about it for Derek? He's got the circus dumbbell on his shoulder. Oh, I thought that he had that. He just started to tip a little bit. That's all right. We know he's strong enough. Swings it on up, gets center. It starts to tip, and he's not completely under control. Magnus, he'll give him the rep if he's got it still. Mike Burke, tremendous power. Just imagine, Clint, a little more body weight and a little better balance. There you go, there you go. Found the groove. Now he knows what it is. Now he knows how to attack it. 45 seconds. 45 seconds for Mike Burke. There you go, he's figured it out. There we go, Mike Burke, that's two. He's got 24 seconds left. He can do another one. Do you believe that he can do another one? Do you think he can get another one up there? That's excellent. All right, your clock starts. 90-second clock has begun. So Junius gets it right over to his shoulder and in his ear. One. No? No? Magna said no. He's got to get it right in the right place. He balances everything when he gets it into place, and then he's got to get it centered. So Junior Savikas has won the Arnold Strongman five times. Yes, that one's good. You got time, you got 50 seconds. Come on, Junior, 50 seconds. Didn't have it locked out, didn't have it quite under control. This is amazing. 30 seconds. You've got to help him. He needs your help right now. He's done amazing things. In help him, give him your energy, help him. <laughs> 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. You're watching rxmuscle.com.